Welcome back to Thunderstone Quest. We're playing A Mirror in the Dark, Part 2, One Door Opens. And I have a correction from last episode. Uh, somebody pointed out a couple videos ago, I had a starting hand of 7 cards instead of 6, which of course is incorrect. I should have only had 6, which gave me a bit of a boost. Um, and when I did my corrections at the end of the last episode, I did take a wound for battling the Demon Spider, and I didn't remove it from my hand. So you know what? We're going to leave it in there as a penalty for my having that extra card during the beginning turn of the last episode. All right, let's just get into it. Uh, let's take a quick look at our six cards this time. For our hand, we have Silver Helm, level two. We have two Thunderstone Staff, uh, and we have three Festering Wounds, which is really not great. But we have to go first over to Smorg Smorgas Lair and roll our dice for the beginning of turn six. All right, so here we are at the beginning of turn six, and we're sitting here. So we have to roll two dice. Next turn, we're going to be rolling three. So I'm going to get pretty nasty. All right, let's roll the two dice. We do not have uh, Bree with us. We cannot re-roll any of these. We'll live with what we get. And, okay, it looks like we're getting one hit against the town right off the bat and two marauding monsters. Okay, it could be worse. So we're going to get two marauding monsters, one hit against the town, so I'm going to put these at the corner of the board so we can see the monsters coming into the town, marauding. Um, all right, let's go back to the main board and start our turn. All right, well, we take that one hit. There's nothing we can do about it. Let's hope it goes to the marketplace. We do have a barricade there. So if we get marketplace, it's just going to go back in the bag and we're going to destroy that barricade. And we end up with the temple. Okay, the temple's getting smacked on. That's where we can go and heal twice, and we can still go to the dungeon. So, ooh, we don't really want to lose the temple, but nothing much we can do about it. Um, all right, we have zero experience, so we cannot build a barricade anywhere. And let's just take a look at our hand, and we've got not a heck of a lot, uh, except a lot of festering wounds. So, of course, in town, you can heal one wound always, so we're just going to heal one of these, because they buff the monster, so we're going to get rid of that. Uh, we are going to go to the marketplace. It's going to allow us to draw one card, which we probably are going to need. We're drawing one card. Ooh, we get Gorlander. All right, so we have a total. Oh boy, this is not good. We have a total of four damage. We have a total of two festering wounds. Um, but not all is lost because our thunderstorm staff. When we go to the dungeon, uh, if you have a wound, you draw a card. Two wounds. So we should be able to draw two cards for two, uh, the two of these. Um, but we're still in town. We could purchase one item. So we have four gold to play with. With four gold, if we can really we can get a hammer, and we can get a moonlight spell. That's about it. So I think we are going to go ahead and purchase another hammer. We're doing two damage. We have lots of Gorlanders. We have pretty much everyone can wield them. So that's good to go. Purchased our one item. We can level up a hero. Of course, we have no experience, so we can't. So off we go to the dungeon. All right, well, we have Gorlander, and we have Silverhelm. So, so actually, what's not bad? Silverhelm, you may give a hero plus two. We'll give it to Gorlander, and plus two damage. So we're going to have four damage for Gorlander because of the support of Silverhelm. And Silverhelm also says you may heal a wound. So we get to heal one more wound, which is cool. So we have four, five, six damage. We have the two Thunderstone Staffs. If you have a wound, which we do, you can draw a card. So we can do that twice, because we have the two of them. So we're going to draw one card, and we get Bree, okay, giving another plus one damage, and we draw another card, another Gorlander, for another two damage. Okay, now I have to keep in mind, we have to buff whatever monster we attack by plus one because of this card. All right, so totally we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine damage. Nine damage, and we have two light. Nine damage, two light. All right, let's go over to the dungeon and see what we can do with that. All right, so we have a total of nine damage, but let's keep in mind we do have one fast green wound, which is going to buff uh, the monster by plus one. We're going to go through... We're going to start in the wilderness, we're going to go through the abandoned gate, and this is a cobalt snatcher. It says, if you move through this room, discard a weapon. Well, guess what? We don't have a weapon. It's all good. He's not going to snatch a weapon from us. We are going to move into this room. We have two light. It only takes one light to get in here. Not a problem. And we're going to take on the cantankerous spider. 
uh, and we're going to be able to defeat it. And the reason we're going to be able to defeat it is because basically it has 7, 8, 9. It has 9 strength, we'll call it. We have 9 attack. We end up going in here and we are defeating a level 2 cantankerous spider. If I can get it off the board. So he, he is gone. We get 5 experience for taking him down, which is absolutely awesome. So we're going to get our 5 experience here. Three, 4, 5 experience and the light for the room itself. Uh, so we're, gonna, we're collecting lots of light. And we've defeated a level 2 monster. We have 2 marauders coming into the town. We're going to get be able to get rid of both of them, because one marauder per level of monster you defeat. And that's it. We've taken it out. Right on. So we're going to get our spoils. We're going to get our light. We actually have three light now, a healing potion, and our current five experience. All right. And that's all we can do. So let's replace the monster there with another demon spider. Wow, there's lots of these demon spiders. Uh, this guy's slightly... Oh, no, they're the same. We have two demon spiders now uh, in the level two of the dungeon. And that's it. So let's go back to the main board. I don't think I missed anything. And uh, I guess we're going to be wrapping up this turn six. All right, so end of the turn, we're going to be discarding, of course, all of our cards that we played. Uh, and drawing up six new ones. So I have one. Uh, we get our hammer. I almost forgot. We can level up our monster hunter because we took out some marauders. We're going to pay two experience right now that's what it costs to level up so two of our five experience um, and that's our next ability is discard or lend to another player a one plus hero to heal a wound so basically now we can discard any one of our uh, main level up characters to heal a wound so that's pretty good because we may be starting to get a little more wounds as we go so again i don't have a draw deck now so we're going to have to shuffle and then do this little shuffling off screen here uh, to drop five new cards. We should be having a total hand size of six. We just drew the hammer, was on the top of our deck, and so um, I think, yeah, this is, that turn went pretty well. All right, so five more, one, two, three, four, five. Let's not overdraw this time. All right, so our hand for our next turn is going to be a level two Silver Helm, Festering Wound, Gorlander, don't take damage, Joba, and a hammer. All right, that's actually pretty good. But we need to wrap up because we're getting near the end game. All right, I think that's it. Uh, so let's go, I guess, back to Smorga's Lair. We're going to be doing one more turn for this episode. And uh, let's get to it. All right, so that's the uh, this will be the end of turn six. Let's move the token. Moving it to the beginning of turn seven. So we're going to be doing another turn for this episode. We are now starting turn seven. And you can see now we are rolling three dice. We do not have Bree. We cannot re-roll any of them. The pain is ramping up. So let's see what we get this time. Okay, actually, that is not horrific. Um, we're going to take a hit against the town. So let's remember that. We do get to draw one card. That's a plus one card draw. So I'm just going to draw a card. I'll see what we get for a card. We get another hammer. Awesome. So we have to draw a card. I'm going to complain about that. Uh, and we do get one Marauding Monster, which actually is not bad. So the one, just one Marauding Monster goes into the town. And that's it for uh, the beginning of turn three, or sorry, turn seven. We're only three dice. So let's go back to the main board and have our turn. I think it might be a good one. And let's not forget, we do take one hit to the town. So let's not forget that. We drew a card. We got one Marauding Monster. We do get one attack on the town and holy god it's the temple again one more attack on the temple and the temple is destroyed and not going to be useful at all for the rest of the playthrough however all is not lost so now we're beginning our turn we do have three experience and i think we're going to use all three experience right now using our monster hunter ability uh, use three experience to build a barricade anywhere. Let's build a barricade at the temple. We may need this to heal wounds. I'm pretty sure we probably will. Um, Alright, so we can level up a hero. Of course, we have no experience left. We can purchase one card. So now we have one, two, three. We have four, another four gold to spend. Now we could go to the bazaar and either get... Um, 
uh, we can get a healing potion for four. That might not be a terrible idea, actually. Uh, might not be a terrible idea. Or we can get another hammer if we want, plus two. Or we can get another spell, moonlight spell. Can't get five. Wish we could get five, but we don't. So all we can do is buy a hammer, moonlight spell, or go to the bazaar and get a healing potion. Or we can go back to the marketplace and draw an extra card. I kind of want to draw another card. We want to get as much. Uh, I don't have any light though. We have well, we have two, we have three light built up, so we can spend our light tokens. So far, we're going to have basically four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go ahead, take our adventure to the marketplace, and draw a card. I just like drawing a card. All right, we draw Bree. Nice. So we can. Um, well, it's too late. We can't re-roll any dice. We've already rolled them. Okay, we have the Festering Wound. Well, anyway, in town you can heal one wound. So we're just going to go ahead, heal the one wound. You can heal, always heal a wound. You can always buy a card. You can always level up a hero in town. And you can use the ability of any of the locations you go to. All right, so we have one Marauder. Uh, let's now go to the dungeon. We're not going to take any wounds from rooms or monsters. Um, if you have a wizard, a cleric or wizard, we do have a cleric. So this time we're not going to take any wounds from monsters or rooms. That's awesome. We have, all right, let's see what we've got. We do have Gorlander plus two damage. He's going to wield a hammer, which he can easily do. And then we're going to have Let's see. Um, well, we're just going to have Silver Helm here. He's going to give Gorlander plus two boost, plus two damage. So that's going to be four damage, six damage, seven, eight damage, plus the hammer for him. Eight, that's ten damage, eleven damage. Oh, hang on, can we not put Bree? Does she have to go with a character? Well, yeah, um, for five, maybe we can't use Bree. Is she, uh, what do we call Barry? Soldier, solo co-op. I'm not sure we can use Bree, in fact, because I think she has to attach to a character uh, to give them a plus two boost, a plus one attack, and we've already got a, one weapon on Gorlander. He can only use one weapon, and Silverhelm uh, can wield five worth of weapons. Actually, he's going to hang on. He's going to give himself, give Omega gave another hero plus two. Well, this is interesting. We may not be able to use her. I'm going to have to check the rules and uh, figure that out. But actually, Joba, I think, just gives anybody plus two. So then he can use, he can use her because Joba gives plus two. I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go with the total. All right, so let's take a look. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have 11, 11 damage. But no light, but we do have light tokens. All right, let's go over to the dungeon. The 11 damage. We can. We do have three light tokens. We can get to any level. Let's. I'm gonna have to figure out what we need to do here. Uh, so let's take a look. All right, this is gonna work out. I think extremely well. So we have 11 damage, and I'm gonna spend all three of the light tokens that I have. So one light and two more light to get down to this room, but we have to go through the daisy chain of pain before we can get in here. So we will be spending all of the light to get in here. Okay, so it all makes sense. We're gonna go through the Cobalt Heroes Lair, through the mine first. It says, if you move through this room, gain a wound. Well, we do not gain a wound for monsters or rooms because of this card, protection for wounds. So we easily get into this room. Now, when we get into this room, Unless you have a rogue, discard a gear token after moving into this room. Well, unfortunately, um, we don't have a rogue. The only gear token we have is our potion of healing, so we are just going to get rid of it. That's that's okay. Now we move down into this room. So we have we spent one light to get in here. The two more light. We spent all our light tokens. We have no gear tokens at all left. We're into this room with Verik Venk, the rogue. We have eleven attack. We can defeat this guy, not a problem. We would normally take two wounds, plus one wound for the room. However, uh, because we have protection from wounds artifact, we are not taking any wounds at all. So we make our way right down here. We crush this guy nicely, and we're going to end up getting five experience for that. This is a really good turn four. Five experience for that. 
and we get a treasure card for beating him, and we get a treasure card for beating the room, which is really freaking amazing. Um, so we're going to get two treasure cards, so let's just keep going with that. First treasure card, of course, is a treasure cache. That's going to end up giving us three experience. All right. So two, three experience for that. And we get another treasure card for the room itself, and we end up getting Myrcel. She's a level one wizard, human wizard hero. Um, and her in the dungeon is draw a wow, you can either draw one card or gain one experience just for having her. Cool. So we get her now uh, as a spoil. So we rescued her from this part of the dungeon. All right, and then it says place your champion in a level two room. This is after the battle. So We'll go back to this room, which is when you move into this room, you lose a gear token. I don't have any gear tokens, so it's not going to have any effect. We are going to collect our huge load of experience, which is nice. Uh, and we also have Jobo with us. Level up one hero, paying its cost. Or if you have a level zero hero, you don't have to pay anything. We are going to level up Silverhelm. Silverhelm's a level two, so it's going to cost us four experience to level him up. We have lots. We have eight experience. So we're going to spend four of it. We're going to level up Silverhelm. So he goes out of the game. And we're going to get a level three Silverhelm leveled up for this battle. This is all working out extremely well. So he is four. He has a six now. He's brutal. It says you may heal one or two wounds in the dungeon. If you have a hero wielding a weapon, you may draw a card. Wow. Really, really powerful. We're going to need really powerful guys later when we get totally down to Smorgas Lair. All right, uh, I think we covered everything off. We have to replace this card, of course, the monster. That's another one, another Vector Rogue. Same guy. I did shuffle them. I think there's two of each in each uh, deck. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards. Two of each and one special, I think. Also, uh, we took out a level three monster. We only had one Marauder. The Marauder is out of here, no problem. Let's go back to the main board and uh, and wrap up our episode for today. Wow, that was really awesome. That was an awesome turn. We took no damage. This artifact is absolutely helping us so much. All right. Um, so, what can we do? Well, we're going to discard all our cards. Anyway, we, we did defeat a Marauding Monster. We can level up for four experience. Um, and yes, yeah, so for four experience, we do have four experience. I think we're going to go ahead. I mean, we could build another barricade, but I think we're going to spend the four experience we have left to level up our monster hunter to level four, which gives us another ability. It says when you gain this rank, gain the legendary hero, uh, Sladric the Were Trog. So we're going to find the legendary hero, Sladric the Were Trog. We're going to gain. Ah, uh, that legendary hero. So be right back here in a second to gain it. All right, so it took me a little while to find this card. This was actually in the barricades, uh, one of the other, the sixth scenario, which I haven't opened yet uh, in deck three. So I did that, and we have now found Slodrick the Weretrog. Uh, he is absolutely awesome. He does five damage, seven wielding. Uh, before battle, you place one other hero on top of your deck. So out of your hand, you cannot take, oh, if you can't, you take two wounds. You can still use him, though. Sladric gains the attack equal to the hero's attack or magic attack. Give Sladric the hero's weapons and keywords. So he basically transmogrifies into the hero uh, that, <laughs> wow, that you just re got rid of. Plus five damage. So he is freaking awesome. All right, I do believe that that is... Uh, the end of everything. I think I have completed the turn correctly. At least I hope I have. And we've leveled up. We are not taking hits to the town because we got rid of the Marauders. Defeated. Um, Venkik. And I think everything's good to go. So thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, subscriptions, likes. The last thing we'll do is we'll go over to Smorgas Lair. Move the timer because next episode is going to be turn 8. So let's just do that quickly. All right, we're getting close to flipping the card over. Next episode, we're going to be starting turn eight. We're going to be rolling three dice again. Yikes. All right, let's go back to the main board and wrap it up. 
All right, so we got a ton of experience uh, that time. We spent it all, of course, um, and we've got a legendary hero. We got two treasure cards for beating up that level three monster. And of course, I haven't drawn my hand for next episodes. One, two, three, four, five, and six, because we're fully healed. We took no wounds because of that awesome artifact we got earlier. We have the Moonlight spell. We have a basic adventure. We have a festering wound. We have Scavian level three and, a thunder, and two Thunderstone staves. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six cards this time correctly. All right, that's going to be it. Um, join me next time for the continuation Thunderstone quest. We're doing a Mirror in the Dark part two, which is One Door Opens. And we're going to be hopefully uh, taking Smorga out before the town gets uh, overrun. At least we do have a barricade now at the temple. We've almost lost the temple location. We barricade at the marketplace as well. So thanks so much, and we'll see you in the next episode.